So what is the outside uh, principle? So I wrote a post this morning about the flexible path, my community, and I was talking about the outside uh, principle, and that's where um, you actually have to act. You have to uh, take action and do something. And you may not know the exact right action to do. You learn it as you go. So you can reflect, you can consider, you can think about it, you can plan, you can strategize. But until you actually take action, you don't know actually what's going to work. So you act yourself into leadership. You don't become a leader just because you think it right? What you think doesn't make it so, right? It's the opposite, honestly, of Jean-Luc Picard. Um, you have to act like a leader to become a leader. And self-advocacy is leadership. So this is where, when we're running into speed bumps in terms of what the organization um, will support, um, and, and we're facing, you know, return to office mandates and, you know, more time in the office and less time flexibility than we would like. Let's see how we can flip it on its head and work it from the other perspective of the individual, right? So we might not be able to change local organization. We might not be able to, um, budge leadership right now too, but how about we work it from the other side of the equation, which is the employees and using their own personal, um, influence and power because individuals have much more power and influence than you even realize. And, um, you know, especially with the changes that have happened since pandemic, um, there's a lot more people who are advocating for flexibility and understand the impact and benefit it can have on their lives. Right? So one thing that I experienced that you didn't, if you came to hybrid remote or whatever that looks like for you via the pandemic, I had to advocate. It took years. I started in 2011. We got access in 2012. I lost access in 2013, gradually got it back one day, a, a, a week, a year. So eventually it got back up to like four days remote and it took time, but I had to advocate and it's one step forward, two steps back. And that's what the difference is. I built up those advocacy skills and that's what I'm hoping to teach to you. Um, dealing with ambiguity, dealing with resilience um, when plans don't necessarily go according to plan. Um, that's all, these are all skills of the future. If you look at the World Economic Forum skills that are critical for the future of work, it's critical thinking, it's strategic thinking, it's dealing with ambiguity, it's um, lifelong learning, and it's all necessary for advocating for flexible work. So that's where, um, that's how you build this out from the outside principle. I just wanted to explain that a little bit more detail. So again, scholarships running until Monday. If you want free access, that's how you can get free access. So take a look. Uh, again, it's The Flexible Path by Nola Simon in Mighty Networks. That's how you can find me.